regularly. I am fully paid for survival. I have my own autonomy. Uh, I also do my own work. So, like, I just don't see what's wrong with my situation, but they can ask themselves why they're single if they want. <laughs> He's going to be like, yeah, just because I'm a doctor doesn't know doesn't mean I don't know. He will give you full-on details on everything. He'll probably even do research to tell you about this topic. Like, use these guys' strength to advantage to get what you want out of them. Taking the red pill is just a different type of feeling. Some call it bad. I call it spiritual healing. It opens up your mind. The truth being revealing. And when it comes to women, you start being... Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before I get started, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out. All right, guys, today I'm going to be reacting to two videos, all right? One of the videos, a girl's going to be explaining why she is happily married because she was watching Kevin Samuels' videos. And the second girl, and the other girl is going to be talking about how to get a man whenever you need a man, all right? With no further ado, let's get to it. Hey girls, so I want to give you girls a little bit more tips on how I manipulate men. And I told you girls, when you first meet a guy, listen to everything they're saying because you can use their strength and their weaknesses against them. So, All right, that's a tip. You hear what she says? Pay attention to everything they're saying. That's why you guys do not want to talk yourself up when you get around a woman. Women are like detectives. Women are like spies. They're just sitting back gathering information to use later. Silence is power. I always stress that. So, for example, if they're a businessman and they're constantly bragging about how good they are, their businesses are going, you can say, babe, I know that you're struggling a little bit and I'm not too sure if you can help me out, but A, B, and C, D, this is what I need. They are going to be triggered. B, they're going to be like, wait, what do you mean, babe? I can help you out. I'm not struggling financially. Like, what are you talking about? You are triggering emotion out of them to get something you want. What she's doing is playing into your ego. This is why the more money you make, the less you must, you must show. You have to realize, faking to be rich, a broke man can fake rich for a short amount of time, but a rich man can play broke forever. All right? You cannot allow your ego to intervene with the love of a woman. You can never suspect, all right, I got enough woman, I got enough money, I can make her love me. That's not going to work. The more money you make, the more you got to hide it and let her earn her trust. It's good to have money to do things, but it's not good to show her that you're wealthy. This is the type of women you're going to lure in. You have to understand that. Good women don't usually go towards egotistical rich guys. These type of girls do. So we can say, hey, women doing that. No, these type of women aim to do this. You must learn. If you're going to be out here being flashy, expect one of these girls to come in your life. Do you see where I'm coming? And you girls are like so scared. Y'all just have to be bold for this and make it sound very innocent. You do not want to offend him. We can do this with their baby voices. If he's a doctor, you can use um, his strengths against him. Like he's super smart. You can say, babe, I know you're just a doctor, but... I know you're just a doctor, but do you know anything about this? He's gonna be like, yeah, just because I'm a doctor doesn't know doesn't mean I don't know. He will give you full-on details on everything. He'll probably even do research to tell you about this topic. Like, use these guys' strength or advantage to get what you want out of them. What she's teaching is how to play inside of someone's ego. All right. You cannot be ego statistical when it comes to women. You have to be a mastermind, but you have to be a chameleon as well. You, you have to know how to blend in and keep her guessing. You cannot always be in a position where you're trying to prove stuff to her. Understand that. For example, if he used to say he used to have a really abusive dad, you can call him later on in the relationship. This is all fake. You can make up a fake ass story and be like, baby, I just got off the phone with my dad and he was yelling at me and he told me like he's not paying my car insurance anymore and I just don't know what to do. I don't know who to talk to. Do you have any advice? Now that he has that kind of connection with you and the dad relationship with his, he is going to step up and he's going to be like, well, babe, how much? much is it how much how much is it you know like are you okay yada yada it's all a big ass mind game that you she's right it's all a mind game all right everything is psychological they're gonna play these psychological games but you have to understand they're gonna play this on ego statistical men and they're gonna play this on desperate emotional men 
all the other men on the outside, they don't have time to deal with that because they're going to be looking at her like, well, where do you work at? Well, where do you do? What are you doing with your life? If she doesn't even look like she's taking initiative or accountability to her own bills, a real man is not going to touch it. Now, she's pretty enough to sleep with, but she's not pretty enough to wife up. There's a difference between wife material and skank. This is skank. When it comes to skank, guys who are weak, you'll go with skank. Guys that are desperate, you'll go with skank. Guys that have an ego, you'll go with skank. And the reason why you'll go with that is because it looks attractive to other guys that want to sleep with her. But you think, all right, I got something that other guys want to sleep with, but she's mine. No, she's just borrowing you. You're just renting her out. If you can't keep up with the tab, she'll go run this game to somebody else their strengths against them their weaknesses against them and even when i was telling you girls like in the beginning just listen to everything they're saying so you have an idea on who you're really talking to who you, how the way you can talk to them because it, it's just like very like reverse psychology think about it you tell somebody they're not going to do something they're going to do something to prove to you that they can especially if they can do it you know what i mean and like, remember I told you girls, oh, boost the fuck out of their ego. The reason why I tell you girls to do that is because I want you girls to break their ego before you ask for something. Okay, you see that? she She's gassing you up. That's why you got to be careful when girls walk into your life giving you compliments, trying to make you feel like the man. Why? Because they're going to do something to make you feel low in the long run to get you to try to prove yourself. You have to understand Girls who do not have a job and girls who are for the streets, this is their thinking because they don't have an ego. All they have is strategy and they know the weakness of a man is his desires. So I tell you guys, always stay on top of your desires. So let's say before you ask for a phone or something to get paid, you can be like, babe, back then, did they have phones? So you can remind him that you're the prize and he's older than you. So she's specifically talking about older rich guys. But what you have to understand is a lot of older rich guys do not mind being used. I know a lot of old rich guys and they do not mind being used because they got money to blow. They looking at it like, man, I'm going to be leaving this earth sometime soon that she really don't even need to run the game like this. You know what I'm saying? If she was thorough, they should know how to play her role right. He's going to be like, oh, you know, yeah, this is that. And then you can ask him for something because now he's reminded, oh, I'm, she's the pretty girl here. I'm the one that, you know, she's the prize. Got to put these guys in check sometimes. This is exactly how these girls run game out here in these streets. And the thing is, being that you, you guys have been in the manosphere for so long, it's easy for you to spot women like this. Majority of these women you see now, they're putting themselves out there just like a lot of criminals are putting themselves out there on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram by giving away everything. Everyone is doing everything for attention. So if you ain't learned game by now, then something's wrong. All right. Now we got another video that I'm going to react to that went viral last week. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And it says that a woman becomes a housewife after taking Kevin Samuels advice. Other women try to come at her and she claps back. Let's get to it. Okay, Ali, show me your ring. Oh, here. Now, tell me what you do for a living. Oh, I love my husband. <laughs> and how did you how did you get that awesome job? Well, I became a better human being, and I became feminine, and also shocking, submissive. So that was the secret. So, what are your tips to women that want to be a housewife? To embrace it, it's an actual job. You just can't get it in the public or private sector. Like you need, you need a man to hire you for it. But that's okay, because if you think about it, you submit to your boss. I agree with her. I completely agree. What you guys have to understand is before she even go any for it, you also got to be the man on the purpose that's willing to hire her. You have to understand, you have to be willing to hire her. So before you're able to hire her, you have to be able to have money that you can blow. Hiring a wife, a woman to be your wife, well, that's pretty much what it is, is that you? Ha it's your spare money. So you can stack the money or you can take the money and give it to a woman to help hold, have your household. That's why it's good to be on your purpose before a woman comes into your life. That way you know if you can spare the expense. I agree. Who makes you clean stupid shelves at your retail job, right? Like, wouldn't it be better if you were cleaning your own shelves at home? You know what I mean? And your, and your boss 
wants to sleep with you in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> and where where do you meet these men? Well, I think women should work for the men that they want to pursue. I know that sounds crazy, but it's really easy. So if you think about it, like you want a lawyer, right? So then you should be a paralegal. Or if you want a dentist, then you should be a dental hygienist. But these are considered, I guess, high high value status pre- professions. But I think that's a really good model that not enough women utilize. Because women will bully the woman who is the secretary that married the doctor, okay? But who has the last laugh? Like, her in her McMansion with her husband who's <laughs> high and the baby. Like, that's... She's right. She's absolutely right. A lot of girls out there have common sense whenever it comes to modern relationships because they know what it takes to survive. A lot of this feminist movement starts off in younger girls. A lot of girls outgrow it by 25. But the ones that keep it past 30, they would never be happy. They would never get to this level because they don't understand what a relationship is. When a woman actually knows what a relationship is, she knows where to aim to play her part. Now, this woman has told you she's submissive, but she's also telling girls you should work for the guy that you want to be with. That's who has last laugh, so. Allie, how do you feel about the women that are saying this is heartbreakingly sad? (laughs) I mean, I don't know. I get my back blown out regularly. I am fully paid for survival. I have my own autonomy. Uh, I also do my own work. So, like, I just don't see what's wrong with my situation. But they can ask themselves why they're single if they want. (laughs) She's absolutely right. A lot of women don't ask themselves why they single until they find themselves alone at night, taking off the mask, eating up the candy, waking up the next day, going outside, putting back on the alpha mask, saying, I don't need a man. That's what a lot of women are facing. They're becoming two personalities. During the day, they have to be a tough girl that don't need a man. But at night, they're the girl who really wants a man. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully, you guys are able to get the message. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. My second channel is strictly about cars. Hasta la vista.